Born in 1954 in New Delhi, Arpana Kaur hails from a Sikh family with its roots in Pakistan. Kaur's family exposed her to the arts from a young age, with her as a young girl having excelled at poetry, music, with a bent for the sitar and of course painting. Kaur was only nine years old when she made her first oil painting, inspired by Amrita Shirgil. She was primarily self-taught and only received formal training years later when she was schooled in etching techniques at the Gadi studio in New Delhi in the 1980s. Her works have been widely exhibited since 1974 across the country and overseas. In 1994, she was commissioned by the Hiroshima Museum of Modern Art to create a large work marking the 50th anniversary of the bombings. The work behind me is from a signature series titled The Tree of Desire. As we trace Arpana Kaur's impressive body of work, we notice that there are multiple renditions of the Trees of Desire, with it holding an important position within her practice. The first Kalpa Vriksha, which translates to Tree of Desire, was made in 1994, which depicts the wish-fulfilling tree as a cityscape. The work on of a year is the second instance of the subject within the artist's timeline, and it takes inspiration from the socio-political happenings of the country and various folk art traditions. She has used the symbolic tree in several forms, literal as well as metaphoric, to cover a wide range of sentiments and perspectives including rage, passing on, penance and enlightenment. Kalpavriksha, the tree of desire, is rooted in mythology that predates religion and features in several folk art traditions including Bihar's Madhubani paintings, Bengal's Kantha school and various miniature schools of art. One would also find reference to this motif carved into the exquisite latticework of Indo-Islamic architecture. Arpana Kaur's Tree of Desire is an interesting play between melancholy and mystic devotion, using it as a channel to highlight and champion the role played by strong female protagonists within the context of social and political happenings. Set against a backdrop drawn from the varied hues of the earth where the tree is rooted, Kaur visualizes a kalpa briksha with its trunk and branches painted in the likeness of a traditional folk art form. The leaves of this tree are all constituted in the form of women, each with their gaze fixed firmly upwards. There is the presence of wisps of smoke that are rising up from the base of this painting that is lined with growing flames that seem to be fanning upwards. This is suggestive of the collective desires of women from all walks coming together in the form of this Kalpa Vriksha, with their wishes and wants coming together in what will soon transform into a raging flame. A brilliant observation of the growing power of the combined emotions and energy of Indian women, particularly in the social context of the 1990s when this work was painted. Our financial knowledge partner at IndianArtInvestor.com tells us that in the last three years, core sell-through rate has been at a remarkable 93%. A majority of Kaur's practice has been attributed to works in oil, and has accounted for 90% of the total turnover. In terms of material, expectedly, canvas has been dominant by contributing 94% to this turnover and 76% to the total number of works sold. Large size works, much like the Kalpa Vriksha that we have on offer here, have been the most successful for core and have accounted for 70% of a total turnover. Now, if you'd like to own this beautiful work of art, please mail me at arvind.arteryindia.com. It would, as always, be a pleasure to hear from you.